So why is strength training so important for women over 50? The benefits are numerous, but today I'm going to discuss seven benefits that I think will be most meaningful to you. Before I get started, please make sure you stay to the end to hear about an upcoming 30-day summer slim down challenge aimed at helping you build more muscle. And best of all, it's completely free. Benefit number one, increases muscle mass. Strength training is the most effective weapon against sarcopenia, which is the loss of muscle mass as we age. As early as our 30s, we start naturally losing muscle at the rate of 3 to 8% per decade. By age 60, the rate of muscle loss increases. Even the extreme Olympic athlete will have less strength at 70 than they did at 30 or 40. Muscle loss increases even more significantly though as a result of inactivity. My goal is to help you build up a muscle bank in order to prepare for that loss of muscle and strength that will occur at some point in our future. Even at age 61, I continue to build more muscle and postpone the significant muscle loss that would be occurring if I were not strength training. Not only do we need muscle to look leaner, but we also need muscle for everyday activities such as walking, hiking, sitting, standing, lifting grandchildren or pets. And as we lose muscle, we also increase our risk of falls. Which leads to benefit number two, strength training improves bone density. Like muscle, we also start losing bone density as we age. Menopause makes us even more susceptible to osteoporosis. As we build muscle, our bones become stronger too. As our bones become stronger, we also lessen our risk of broken bones should we fall. Benefit number three, boosts metabolism and weight loss. As mentioned earlier, strength training builds muscle and lean muscle increases metabolism, which helps burn fat. My fitness journey began in the 80s when women were told to do aerobic exercise to burn calories and lose weight. While many women over 50 still follow that protocol, it is old and outdated advice. What we really need is strength training combined with a healthy diet, which will reduce body fat better than diet or aerobic exercise alone. Benefit number four, prevent health problems. Strength training can help reduce the signs and symptoms of diseases such as heart disease, arthritis, diabetes, obesity, some cancers, and cognitive disorders like Alzheimer's. The investment of time, money, and energy to combat these issues is far less than compared to living with these ailments. Be sure to discuss any fitness program with your doctor before jumping in. This is especially important if you already have any health issues. Benefit number five, improve sleep and mood. It's common for women to have difficulty falling asleep and staying asleep during perimenopause and postmenopause. With consistent strength training, women often report sleeping more regularly and staying asleep longer. Benefit number six, better mobility. Strength training increases your muscle strength, power, and endurance, which leads to better overall mobility. Want to move better? Add strength training to your fitness routine. And last but not least, better balance. According to the National Council on Aging, falls are the leading cause of injury among older adults. Strength training improves coordination, mobility, and balance. I hope you found at least one of these benefits valuable enough to pick up a dumbbell or resistance band. It's never too late to get started. But getting started is the hardest part. 
As I mentioned in the beginning, I'm hosting a 30-day summer slim down challenge that begins on Monday, July 24th. The challenge is completely free. Every day for 30 days, I will post a video recommending a specific activity. Throughout the week, we'll be doing strength training and walking. Once a week, I'll throw in a specific exercise challenge. There will also be non-exercise related activity once a week. Before we start the actual 30 day challenge, there will be a fitness test you can complete to set a baseline of your current strength. We'll do the fitness test again on day 30 to see how your strength improved. Don't miss this. I will release the fitness video on July 22nd. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure to do that now so you don't miss any of the 30 day summer slim down challenge videos. Now, if you're watching this video after the challenge has ended, no worries. You can check out the series of videos in my 30 day summer slim down challenge playlist. You can find the link to the playlist in the description below this video. Now drop me a comment and let me know if you'll be joining me for the 30 day summer slim down challenge.